been intimidated cooking that egg you have, tear up the yellow, can't get it flipped over, sticks to the skillet. Well, folks, I got quick tips and tricks to make the perfect fried egg in a cast iron skillet. Hey, welcome to some quick tips and tutorials, a new series we've started, but don't forget every Wednesday, 2.30 Central, we'll still have our regular cooking videos, but what's happening today? Get a lot of questions for it. The perfect fried egg in a cast iron skillet. Now there's three things you're really going to need to create this perfect fried egg in a cast iron skillet. And speaking of cast iron skillet, it has got to be well seasoned. Now we have created a cast iron playlist and Shan will have you a link there to where you can go to it and it'll help you with all your cast iron problems to where you can get it to this point to make that perfect fried egg. So well seasoned skillet and guess what else we're going to need? A dab of water and a little dab of butter, but also one of the most important factors, what is it? A lid because we're going to need it because to create this perfect fried egg, the lid's going to be there. The steaming effect is what's going to help. All right, now this is really pretty simple. And I left out an important factor on the three things you needed. You're going to need a fire too. So really, I want to turn this, if I can remember which knob it is, and I got lucky, to medium high heat. Now, I'm going to guess at a minute and a half because we've got to pre-warm this thing just a little because it's just been sitting here. I don't want it smoking hot but I want you to go a minute and a half. Now you're waiting on that minute and a half. What is this delectable ingredient here? Butter, yes. How about a tablespoon? Now you can go ahead and place it in there because I want to see it go to melting and after a minute and a half, we're going to do one of them aerobic deals to this skillet. You know what that's going to be? We're going to give it the swirl. This thing might get hot, so I got me one of these skillet litter handle deals and we got a link down there, you can find them, but give it a, some swirling action. Big, how do you like your eggs? Huh? Over easy, over medium, sunny side up. The big said don't make them no difference, just make sure you got one. I can remember when I was cooking eggs out there on a the ranch and folks would always say, we always just had scrambled eggs. We never had no fried eggs. Well, me and Shan, we got to frying eggs, we just like a cafe. How do you want them? We'd fry them. Now, when you fry that many eggs at one time in an old skillet, you gotta make sure you have what? A proper utensil to turn these, and that is a spatula. Now you can see, if Shan will jump in here, that butter has melted. So let's take our one egg, and a lot of you wanna crack it right there on this skillet. Uh-uh, cause what happens when you do that? Some of it runs down the side. See what was left there from this morning, Shan? but also that eggshell falls in there, it does. Crack it on a flat surface. We hope that it is a real egg, not one of them Easter eggs, and it was. Ooh. At this point, a very important part, remember, about a tablespoon of water. Go around the outside edge, the lid goes on. Turn it to low. Guess what? Timer has started. At a minute and a half, that becomes what? An egg sunny side up fried but we're going to go ahead and do a total cook time of about two and a half minutes to have what that over easy egg that i have every morning the perfect fried egg to me now some of you might be telling yourself whoa i like mine over medium well at that two and a half minutes take that very important tool that you have there a spatula and flip it cook it another 30 seconds without the lid you will have an over medium egg so Folks, there's two or three different ways you can get that out of there. You can slide it out of there, or you can just take that spatula, push it over to the side, and there you go. Now, I like my eggs just like this, but guess what? You know we got to have one that's got some what? Salt and pepper. Then we got to have us a fork. And I want to bust this right here, and look at that. That is just what I would call an over easy. Now I'd take that thing and I'd just go ahead and just scramble it up just like this right here. Get me like maybe a side of hash browns, some of that good crispy fried up bacon. And what would you do? Bon appetit. Mm. Makes me want to do the chicken dance again. I might even lay an egg, uh-huh, but I ain't gonna. Well, we hope you enjoyed these quick tips and tutorials about these eggs because, hey, it is so easy. And uh, if you don't like a fried egg, maybe you like an omelet. We also got you a video on that we did a while back. 
channel will have you linked. The perfect cast iron omelet. Easy to do, it is. We want to thank y'all for taking time out of your day to watch our videos, and we hope you've enjoyed this. As always, I tip my hat and I salute our veterans and all our service men and women who have kept this old country safe. Be sure and check out upcoming events. Remember, this is the big time of year. Cookbook is coming out March 17th, and we've got a big book tour lined up. Be sure you look at it. Be sure you find it, because we want to see you at the city that we're in. Okay? We'd appreciate it very much. God bless you, each and every one, and I'll see you down the perfect Friday trail. And it helps. Look at there. That's a bad one, folks. <laughs> Redo. That is what you call a bad egg. <laughs>